Hey guys, welcome back. Or if you're new to my page, welcome, welcome. Uh, don't forget to like, make a comment, subscribe, share. You can also follow on Instagram, copycat underscore poly gel girl. Do have um, some pretty awesome photos there. Um, but what we're gonna go ahead and try today is the Model Ones Jelly. Um, what I did not know is it was not poly gel. Um, it's not the regular thick, moldable, pliable, molded and stay poly gel. It is exactly like builder gel. And if you've never used builder gel, it does not stay. It will run off the sides. Um, it will move. You don't really even need a brush um, or slip solution for it um, because you can probably just move around the nail hold it upside down, move it to the sides and have it set that way um, because using the brush and the slip solution was an enormous mistake as you'll be able to see. The slip solution that I did end up using on this nail was one from Sexy Mix and I would not recommend it. It left huge air bubbles inside and as you can see when filing the dust actually fills up the little cups that are left from those big bubbles um, i will try to go ahead and fill that in with the top coat but inevitably you can still see the bubbles under the top coat so it's not the best look so i would definitely not recommend that slip solution and possibly recommend not using slip solution at all if you can help it. Hindsight is always 2020, they say, right? Well, in looking back at doing this nail, there's no way I should have used that brush and the alcohol that I used instead of the slip solution. It should be no brushes, no contact, pretty much just put the gel on the nail with the spatula, move it around, let gravity do its work. That way there's no bubbles no weirdness and it would look fantastic um, but as you see i did use the brush and alcohol for this one so there's still a little bit of bubbles in it but far less than the first one now this nail was also clear versus the other one being a more milky white so the clarity is better but still in general it is a better looking nail than the first one now the one thing i always do forget to do when doing the nails is buffing I recommend a higher grain than the 180. I would go for like a 220, 240 or above just to make sure you get all the scratches out, buff it out. It looks fantastic that way. When you do forget to do the buffing, you can see the scratches. Had that happen in a few sets. What can you say? I'm not a professional, so I did forget. Um, does happen a lot, but live and you learn.
This now clearly went much more smoothly. I'm getting a little bit more used to the process. As you will know, if you practice, you always get better. So I tried to encapsulate this nail with a clear poly gel from Beatles. I'm just going to say that it is not clear. It's cloudy. It looks like there's bubbles in it. It is not a recommendation if you want to try to have a nice clear nail to see any decorations underneath it or see through it. I think McCart is the one that is the clearest poly gel, but definitely not Beatles. Like that's going to be the bottom so far. So I tried to encapsulate the butterflies and used a little bit more of the blue gel on the back end and the clear on the front I was hoping it was going to be like a crystal clear but again like I said not clear cloudy bubbly but did the best with what I could with what I had at the moment so that is what the nail will look like in the end So as you see, this nail did go much more smoothly and turned out a little bit more awesome. I kind of liked it, so I kind of kept it for my next set, as you'll see if you look at the next video. But there was all the bubbles and didn't kind of look a little cloudy, so it wasn't as clear. But still, all in all, not too bad. There's the three nails that I did. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also go to the Instagram page. Thank you, guys.